Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my Manchester United career on Football Manager 2014 and take a look at this. Real Madrid is the first team into the Champions League final. Will it be Manchester United or will it be Arsenal in that Champions League final against Real Madrid? It all comes down to this, the second leg of the semi-final. Last time out, it ended one all. I'm going with Van Persie at front. Got Small and Evans, Vidic Ever at the back. On the bench, I got Ferdinand Jones, Carvalho, Nana, Yanazai, and Hernandez. De Gea still out with that injury. Rafael is suspended after getting sent off in that last game against Arsenal. Uh, Kagawa's out injured, and Rooney, he's also out injured for this game. So let's have a look at Arsenal starting 11. They got Giroud at front. Podolski, Ozil, lucky to be the inside forwards for them. Ramsey, Arteta, Koscielny, they got Sanya and Schnezdi in goal. And I'm surprised Walcott hasn't started this game, but I'm sure Wenger's gone with um, Ozil over Walcott. So we'll just mark these guys up. Arsenal haven't had the best of seasons, especially when it comes to the Premier League. They find themselves in seventh, I think. So next season for them, they could be looking at a season without Champions League football, being in Europe. Or I think... Is, is it right if they go all the way to the final and actually win it that they, they're in Champions League for next season? I think that is what happens, even if they're seventh in the league. Didn't that happen to Liverpool in real life? I'll have to go and check that one out. But anyway, hopefully we can pick up a win here and be through to the final against Real Madrid. Oh, crap. That wasn't part of the script. <laughs> That was not part of the script. Ozil has got the opening goal here within just a minute gone. Why does this happen on Football Manager? It happens so much. Teams getting early goals. It really does annoy me. So we're now on the back foot here. Two on down on aggregate. If Arsenal holds on to this 1-0 win, then uh, they'll be going through to the final. We've got a corner here. Come on, do something with it. Now back again. Good save there by... Oh, it went off the crossbar. It looked like uh, Schnezzi saved that then. Doesn't seem as though nothing's going to happen. We seem a bit flat at the moment. Demotivated. I'm not surprised after going 1-0 down. Here come Arsenal again. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. my God, is this seriously happening? Switch out to counter. Don't want to look at the replay. Is this really happening with 2-0 down, 3-1 on aggregate? As it stands, Arsenal are through to the Champions League final to play Real Madrid. What is going on with my United side? We've had such a fantastic season and now it's going to end like this? And that's good. We're stringing our passes. Oh, look. See, it's Valencia failing again. A poor pass. His intentions were there. They're going to make... Oh, wow. Good defending. Getting rid of... Well, the danger's still there, actually, isn't it? They've got a corner. Oh, they're, they're going to make it 3-0 in a minute if we're not careful. And that's going to be half-time, surely. Surely there's no more goals in this half. Yeah, there we go. Half-time, 2-0 down to Arsenal. We have a mounted to climb. I'm going to bring out the hairdryer, or more like the jet engine. And players are looking fired up and motivated. Could we see... An absolute turnaround here at the Emirates from United. For Marlin with a foul on Valencia. Set piece. We need to make sure that we can get back in this game. Get a goal right now. Nothing's going to come of it. We haven't even got a highlight from that free kick. Cleverly's on a yellow. Smalling's on a yellow. Johnny Evans looking furious. There's so many players that were out injured that I could have done with for this game. But that's football for you. Oh, wow. Lindegaard pulling off a decent save. Keeping it at 2-0. They've got another corner. If they get one more goal, it's all over. It is all over. What is Van Persie doing? Why isn't he stepping up? Let's make a sub here. Nani's looking. His morale is poor. We'll bring on Carvalho. We'll switch Carrick to central midfielder. Um, central, yeah. Central midfielder. And we'll leave that defensive for Carvalho. And you know what? I'll bring on... I'll bring on Nani because uh, Valencia, mm -mm, not not doing it. He's not doing anything. He's made a few, a few mistakes throughout this game. All right, two subs for United. Starting to look a bit desperate. I know. 
Oh, here come Arsenal. Oh, good defending again. Got our backs to the wall here, United. This would have been nice to at least get through to the final of the Champions League in my first season with my United on Football Manager. It would have been sweet. I mean, we've won the league. We're in the final of the FA Cup against City. To play Real Madrid in the final of the Champions League would be sweet. But time is running out. I mean, the option is still there to go on and win the, uh, the treble, but it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. If anything, we, we've still got the double that we could go for the Premier League. Well, we've already won the league. And we're just going to play City in the, uh, the FA Cup final. And this game's over. Arsenal are going to go through. I think they're just going to win 2 0 here. Oh, that's a foul by Carrick. He's going to get a yellow card for that. That would have just been insult to injury if he got sent off. Oh, here we go. It's all over. Arsenal are through to the final. There's no coming back from this. Rosicki with the third goal for Arsenal. They just wanted it more, didn't they? Clearly. I'm just going to set that to contain. I know it's over and I don't want to really concede any more goals. Turned out to be an embarrassing trip to the Emirates this for Manchester United. And we're sure to uh, be looking for revenge next season in both the uh, the Premier League games home and away and maybe even if we meet them again oh can we at least get a consolation this is a great spell of dominance commentary there at the bottom but it's not good enough we haven't really tested their goalkeeper just look at the passes that we're making they're just all over the place they're not even connecting look ah oh, that's just terrible seems as though there's no communication on the pitch here come Arsenal again. Oh, they're going to get fourth, aren't they? You know, Lindegaard's probably, even though he's letting three goals, he's probably been the best player on that pitch for us in this game. He's made some top saves. It's just a shame he's had to let in three. There we go. It's all over. Arsenal through to the final against Real Madrid. And I'm going to bring out the jet engine once again. And it's only Nani that looks stressed. Oh dear. Alright, let's keep moving on here. Man United defeat in Champions League semi-final. We were so close to the final. So close. Manager slams team. That's leaked out somehow. Arsenal rise to see off the challenge. And we've been given 4.14 million. Time to just focus on picking up all maximum points with our remaining games in the Premier League. Got to play Fulham away from home. Going with Van Persie, Welbeck, Mata, Yanazai, Cleverly, Evra, Vidic, Jones, Raphael still looking abysmal there after I bollocked him from our first leg game against Arsenal in the Champions League after he picked up that red card. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to keep playing him. I don't want to get rid of Raphael. I hope he doesn't hand in his transfer request. We can make do without that. All right, Fulham going for pretty much the same team that they played against us in the FA Cup. So they're going with the diamond formation, the 4-1, 2-1-2. Let's keep moving. Look at the league table there. It's just no catching us up. Man United have mathematically secured the league table, as we know. Fulham will want a bit of revenge, especially Felix McGarth. We don't see eye to eye in the press. Or maybe it's just the press hyping things up. Let's keep moving on. Look at look at Raphael's uh, morale. Abysmal. Yeah, I, I could see him probably handing in his transfer request at the end of the season. Once all the games are out of the way. Maybe once the World Cup is out of the way as well. Don't forget that's to be played in the summer. Alright, let's start the match then. Let's have a good game. Let's try and pick ourselves up after that midweek loss against Arsenal. In the semi-final of the Champions League. Can't believe we lost that. So frustrating. Oh, good start. Good start there by Yanisai. Beat the keeper, hit the post, and on the way back out, Van Persie slid the ball into the bottom corner, making it 1-0 to United. Good start. And now a good platform to build from against Fulham here at the Craven Cottage. I'm happy with that. Come on, United. Let's go get a couple of more. Let's finish this game. Oh, good play there by Fulham. They're looking for that overlap there. Briggs. Oh, no way. They're back in the game. 
Lewis Holt B. Loney from Tottenham is the one that pegs United back immediately. What is Lynn Lagarde doing? Why is he bringing the ball all the way to the, uh, the starting spot? Seriously, what is that all about? Raphael looking in shore. Can just imagine what it'd be like with Raphael on the pitch with his morale uh, abysmal. He'd be dragging his feet, not wanted to play. Now he's also taking a knock as well. I'm not going to take him off. I'm going to try my best to hold on to Raphael. My God. What is going on with this United side? It's almost as if we're having our blip right at the end of the season when we really should have had it maybe at the start or in the middle of the season. It's catching up with us now, big time. Players are starting to get a bit lazy after we've won the league. They don't really care, but we should, we should be winning games like this. Raphael's morale has kind of gone up there to very poor. Just look at morale. It's all over the place at the moment. The players, I'm not happy about that. I like to have a good squad harmony. I like everyone brimming full of confidence. I hate to see players are good, poor. Very good, good. And superb is only acceptable at Manchester United. That was a real chance. We need to get back into this game. Thinking about taking Cleverly off. He's looking a bit unfit. Vidic is on a yellow. He's only got a couple of games to go as well, Vidic, before he makes his move to Inter Milan. I'll bring on... Let's bring on James Wilson. Take a bit of a risk there. But he did well in that title winner against Sunderland. He actually got on the score sheet. Come on then, let's see if we can do something here. Good bit of play. Keeping possession with the ball. Knocking it around. Good cross. Carrick, come on, whip it back in. Cleverly. Van Persie! Oh! Denied by the post. Wow. How are we not back in this game? Cleverly on a yellow card now. Might as well just ride it out with Cleverly. On comes uh, Nani. I'll go to Overload. See if we can at least get a point from this game. Players just dragging their feet. Not happy about it. They're not putting in the performances that we've come to expect. Oh, no. Oh. And that's the game right there. Lewis Holtby with the second goal of the game. He has caused us such a nightmare. Especially for the back four. Such a disgraceful performance. It really is. I'm so, oh, man. I'm so... So annoyed. Let's just ride it out now, I suppose. And the girl with a an easy save. Go on, Fulham. You might as well go go and get a fourth. Well, we'll just have to concentrate on our next game and our last game of the Premier League season, which is against City, our biggest rivals. And uh, we probably will be lifting the trophy as well on the same day. Uh, Old Trafford in front of the home fans, so that'll be good. But a win there is a must. We have to win that. I can't come away from Old Trafford with a loss. We need to go out on a high, definitely. And whilst I think about it, I think the next video, there we go, full time. The next video will just be this, the last game of the season against City. And then the video after that will be the FA Cup final against City. And that will probably be an extra long episode. So that's something for you guys to look forward to. I'm looking forward to it myself with all the end of season awards. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, before I do end this episode, just look at that. Our last three fixtures, we have come away with nothing. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you all very soon for the next one. Thanks for watching.